B Day Salute Act Reach of 45. Don't worry about Jeez. Got that new news out the 905 Niagara Falls Way. We're keeping the zone five, baby. Talking about them wrong girls. I was here last week, a couple weeks back. Jeez. Bring that one back. Over here, we call that a pull up. Nano fizzle to the 416 eyes. Y'all know what it is. It's that zone five. on travel salute with young fizz uh keeping it alive and direct Bitch, I keep it down like a G. 
on my neck, and I be so cold, I think I don't sweat. Hand my heart cold, mine is for long. You can get frost, here in my flow. Don't make my pants, they more in my boots. Got niggas so sick like they catching the flu. Yeah. Albums up right now. Go get it on iTunes. Y'all know what it is. No baby. Not a fizzle. Got the boxes in the building right now. Jeez. Video is out right now. Go check it out on YouTube. It's that Wi Fi. Get connected. We got Kevin Higson in the building right now. Ryan Riziki, undefeated. Y'all know what it is. Wi-Fi. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. 
the draw when we're hanging on the mic. How far out? How far out they should be? Like, um, yeah, maybe we can do that. Well, I'll adjust it as as we go. You know what I mean? Because I got the levels right here. know what it is it's the live and direct show cfmu.ca you heard the lady go ahead on and donate go to the website cfmu.ca hit the donate button y'all know what it is um if you got paypal makes it even easier credit card payments pretty much you know what i mean we need uh yeah we need those donations um budgets are being cut you know what i mean and if you want to keep us popping on for another 41 years, you know what I mean, or just another year as such, you know what I mean, because you never know. Uh, please hit us up with those donations. We don't get paid to do this. We're just here off the love with volunteers doing this, you know what I mean? So we got to keep the lights on. We got to keep upgrading and whatnot. Uh, salute to Stay Ready Boxing. I see him, you know what I mean? I am live on YouTube. Follow me, subscribe me. Our fella, you know what I mean? The our fella. We talk boxing. Y'all know what it is. I'm a hip hop guy too. We got the pugilist in the building. We got Kevin Higson. We got Ryan Rosicki. You know what I mean? Say what up to the 905 and to the 416. You know what I mean? Uh, pretty much all across the world. I got Texas uh, listening to us right now as well. You know what I mean? So say what up to the to the people them. Uh, established Canadian boxers uh, <laughs> as you guys are. What's up? How's it going? Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks for having me, too. All right, all right. Let me turn, turn your mic up. Brian Rizicki, say it. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. We good? And uh, I need your headphones on as well. You'll, you'll, you'll hear everything better. All right, there we go. There we go. We got... So how y'all feel about this uh, this upcoming card? We got y'all boxing at the Hamilton Convention Center. Y'all, y'all, uh, you've been, you fought in Hamilton, obviously, before, you know what I mean? So, upcoming March 17th, uh, are you guys excited about this fight? Or is it just another, just, you know what I mean, another stepping stone to something bigger? Oh, I'm excited, but uh, it's just another day in the office for me, you know? True. Go get my work done and go home. True, That's true, true, it. true. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, pretty much feeling the same way. Just looking forward to it. Now, I looked back into your uh, resume, and I looked even, like, way back, and I saw you gave that work to Simone King. You know what I mean? I, I seen some footage, and you, yo, you gave him that smoke, for real. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, do you have any aspirations of going to the heavyweight division? I know you're a cruiserweight right now. You know what I mean? And you're doing nicely, you know what I mean, with the eight and zero record. 
eight uh eight KOs, but do you have any aspirations to go uh, above two hundred pounds? Um, we'll see. Like right now, I'm I'm kind of a small cruiserweight. I walk around underneath the cruiserweight limit. Yeah. So, uh, but we'll see. There's uh, I definitely got the power to compete at heavyweight in the chin. So if I could put the weight on over time, then you, you never know what might happen. True. True. All right, well, we'll we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, Now, Kevin, I mean, you've you've got some experience on your on your resume as well. You've uh, avenged your one loss against uh, what's his name, Islis or something like that. Martin Islis. Martin Islis, and um, you suffered your second loss against another uh, Canadian. He's pretty good, uh, Cody Crowley. You know what I mean? Yeah, now, yeah. you seem like the type of guy, like, yeah, you uh, since you've avenged your loss against Islis, are you looking to uh, come back against uh, Cody Crowley at some time? You know what I mean? Yeah, get, I, would, I would love to be uh, to get that win back. It's uh, something that kind of itches at me a little yeah. bit. kind of pisses me off, truthfully. But, um, yeah, we're just going to take them one fight at a time, and if that comes back, we're going to... I'm gonna take it to him. What kind of looking back at that in hindsight, like what kind of what do you think mistakes that you made that you could like change and like if the second fight, you know what I mean, was coming up, um, say at the end of the year, you know what I mean, what would you change to to make that a different result? Uh, I think I would just not that it's kind of hard to say because I, I don't want to say that I would focus more because I'm always focused, but I just had a lot going on in my life and. You know, maybe I took it a little bit, a uh, little bit too lightly. Too light. A little bit too lightly. You know, uh, got a little bit too overconfident. But I'm always a hard worker. I'm always the hardest worker in the gym, and uh, you know that's what I would do. I would just work my ass off and uh, take it to his chest. You know. True indeed. True indeed. Now your opponent uh, upcoming. You know anything about your opponent? This guy from Jamaica. Yeah, actually, um, he's uh, he's fought a few guys that I've fought. He fought uh, Phil Rose. He lost to which I beat. He mm-hmm. fought. Uh, he did Frank. fight uh, Crowley, and he yeah. got he got uh, stopped. Yeah, he got uh, if you call it that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the fight. I just saw it all on paper. So yeah. yeah. So uh, what, 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 what's the word behind that? Uh, what do you it mean? Took a little blow, but uh, they stopped the fight. So oh, okay, uh, that's right. That's right. He, he also fought Frank Catroni, who I fought, and uh, he fought Lerone White, who I fought the amateurs in numerous times. So he's fought a lot of Canadians. He's uh, he's a tough guy. He's going to be there to fight, and I'm going to be there to fight. So you're going to get some fireworks for sure. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it would be the might uh, steal the show right there, that That's fight. It, you know yeah. what I mean? It's always my plan. I've, I always said I, I've been to fights, and I've heard people boo during fights, and if that ever happened to me, I'll, whew, I don't know what I would do. Man. Right, right. Yeah. Dope. So um, what are your, like, you know what I mean, long-term aspirations in the game? Like, let me ask you this. Um. You're, you're you currently weigh 154. Like uh, uh, you're in the 154 pounds. You have uh, aspirations to go to the, say the middleweight division, um, or are you looking to stay put or even go down in weight? Uh, truthfully, I make uh, I make 154 quite comfortably. Like not that I don't cut weight, but I cut weight in a a healthy way. Some guys cut a lot of weight. What do you walk around in? If I'm heavy, heavy, I walk around 170, but usually 160, 160, 165, I'd say. Okay. So I cut it quite slowly, all very healthy. I eat, I clean my diet up, but uh, I look to stay at the same weight probably until I'm done. And then, you know, I, I don't I don't really see myself going up and I don't see myself going down. I don't see a point. True, true, true. Now, um, both of y'all can speak on this about your diets, like, you know what I mean? Give, 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 give us brothers some tips, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean, you guys are healthy, you know what I mean? Healthy living, you know what I mean? You got the you got your bodies in check and whatnot, you know what I mean? I, I bet y'all can go to 10 to 12 rounds and whatnot. So uh, what's part of your diet, you know what I mean, that you eat on a, on a, on a day-to-day basis, you know what I mean, that uh, something simple that you can help, help us brothers with, you know what I mean? Because sometimes we... You be over at the corner, you know what I mean, eating too much Tim Hortons, eating too much McDonald's and whatnot, you know what I mean? So uh, give us some tips. Uh, my diet's interesting. Um, so I grew up in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. All right. 
So wait, wait. So uh, your boy Sidney Crosby then? Uh, I, I never like he's from probably five hours from where I live. Oh, okay, I okay. My bad, my bad. <laughs> but uh, my diet's probably like ninety percent of what I hunt. Okay. Yeah. So my my diet's might be a little bit different than than the average fighter. Like when I'm here in a training camp, it's it's not what it usually is because like obviously I can't go. Out deer but he left the guns at home so. yeah <laughs> so okay so you said deer so deer is one of the um yeah. primary meats that you you know what i mean you consume back at back scotia ways yeah, a lot of deer a lot of uh small game and, okay. uh, like bear a lot of bear oh you deal with some bear too dang yeah, yeah. <laughs> you better watch out for this one over here just <laughs> yeah. i don't even bring the gun i just use the left hook on them <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cruiserweight Ryan Rosicky, eight and no eight KOs. Y'all, y'all don't mess with him. Um, he's fighting um a Hungarian cat. What's his name? Um, Laszlo P. We'll just call him Laszlo P. Yeah. Um, he has a he has a decent record on him. Um, but from what I've seen is that when he leaves his comfort zone, when he leaves Hungary. Um, he's susceptible to the knockout or to the stoppage. So I think you should get him in at least, at, at, at the minimum, two rounds. Yeah. Um, I'm putting the pressure on you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm training for eight. I always, like, I always train for the whatever it's scheduled for and hope that it goes a few. Yeah. But, but yo, know, I've seen, yo, know, you haven't been going rounds with nobody really. You know what no, I mean? For the, last couple, for the last couple of years, it's been pretty much light work for you. Yeah, I've, I haven't been past three my whole career. Damn. Yeah. I mean, well, who do you like? Where Where do you see yourself in a, in say two three years? Do you see yourself like um, fighting guys maybe Commonwealth level like Lawrence O'Coley, those guys? They, they, uh, um, I'd fight them tonight, honestly. Mm, that's tonight. what I like to hear. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go, go holler at Lawrence O'Coley right out. <laughs> Be like, yo, I actually don't even know who that is. Yo, my boy, my boy, yo, he's a UK, he's a UK, uh, UK cruiserweight. Okay. Um, he's uh, hyped pretty much over uh, over in the match room side, match room side of thing. So uh, no, that was the name I just uh, I was just throwing out there, but uh, I think you could wax him easily anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going down, you know what I mean? March 17th, it's the St. Patty's Day March Showdown. 16th, March, 16th. March 16th, my bad. Saturday, March 16th, the St. Patty's Day Showdown at the Hamilton Convention Center, you know, dig. Um, any lasting words y'all Y'all want to um, let the fans know and whatnot? Yeah, just... Uh... Come on down to the convention center. It's uh, it's gonna be a great night of fights. You're not gonna want to miss it. And uh, yeah, we're we're gonna throw some fireworks that night, so you don't want to miss it. Kevin's sure. getting fight of the night. I'll get knocked out of the night. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got our plan set, so that's gonna be it. Patent it. What's your what's your favorite punch you like to throw? Uh, every punch. I just I just like to keep coming, man. Let me see some like let me see your speed or something, man. Let me yo, let me size you up right now. This is going down right now. This is going down. Kevin Higgins in the building, the super welterweight, 154 pounder, title aspirations. We don't know if he's going to the WBO, WBC, IBF. We don't know, but he's he's looking for some straps, man. It's strap season. Um, he got about an inch on me. I, I, I'm supposed to be five foot nine, but we'll call me five foot eight today. You know, dig. But uh, let, let, let's see your speed, man. Let's see your speed. You want to see my speed? Just punches, or <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... The man has some serious speed, man. I don't know. A little bit sleepy right now. <laughs> <laughs> we in the building. With Kevin Hickson, the 154 pounder, as well as Ryan Rosicki, the undefeated cruiserweight 8 0 AKOs. They fight him March 16th at the Hamilton Convention Center at Sat the St. Pat's Showdown. We can't forget Jesse Wilcox as well will be headlining against Christoph Kovach, also from Hungary. 
I mean, that's going to be another dope fight as well. Um, he's another little young blood from uh, Hungary. I believe he has a record of 8 1 and 1. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice little matchup against Jesse Wilcox, who himself is undefeated 11 0 and 2 draws. Um, y'all got a. Um, uh, a similar opponent as well. I think y'all fought. Yeah, didn't he lose? Uh, he he took a draw to Isla or something like that, didn't he? No, no, no. I think you're thinking of someone else. He he fought a guy that I fought earlier in my career. Jesse did. A kid named Reginald Franklin. He was from uh, Montreal. Okay, okay. Any um, so y'all box out of the same, pretty much of the same gym. Named Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've uh, we grew up together. Still, Steel Town Boxing Club. How much would have to be in the bag for yo for both of y'all to get in the ring against uh, each other? I don't think me and that guy were ever gonna. They're fight never each other. gonna fight uh, each other. Okay. We, we fought enough times in the gym that I think we could have sold it out there. So. Uh, <laughs> True. Yeah, I don't know. We guys like my brother, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. True, 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 true. That's what it is. You know what I mean? It's not going to be any type of uh, Steel Town rivalry with uh, Jesse Wilcox and Kevin Higson. Not in this uh, lifetime as far as... Uh, Do you want to come down to the gym and check out a sparring session? <laughs> Might get your money's worth that way. Yeah, true, 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 true. And the gym is where? where uh, what uh, boxing gym do you uh, represent for the people that don't know? Uh, Steel Town Boxing. Steel Town. Oh, that, right down on... Uh, yeah. Down on off of Kenilworth over there? No, no, we used to be down. We're down on off of uh, Hempstead now, right off Nebo. Right oh, off of, uh, oh, on the yeah. hill, okay. East, East Mountain. All right, all right. Yeah. That's what it is. It's the home of the Lions. Home of the Lions. Geez, y'all hear that? LDBC, Lions Down in Boston community. Kevin Higson is from the home of the Lions. Ryan Rosicki in the building as well. Y'all know what it is. St. Pat's Showdown. March 16th, that's a Saturday. Get your tickets. Hamilton Convention Center. Support your hometown pugilists. That's what's going down. You know what I mean? This is official professional boxing. Y'all respect that. You know what I mean? Boxing is back in the steel town officially. And uh, yeah, I'm going uh, I'm, to uh, continue to, to watch you guys grow. You know what I mean? And watch you guys pick up straps and dust off these fools, you know what I mean, and showcasing your skills, you know what I mean, and put it on for the for the 905 and on Canada, for Canada on the whole, you know what I mean? Because one thing I, I rap with a lot of my um a lot of for a lot of my American brothers and they're sleeping, absolutely sleeping on the talent in Canada, you know what I mean? So that's one of my um objectives. Not not only because I, I put out I'm uh I'm a I'm a host for for hip hop, and now I'm starting to incorporate because my other my other love is boxing, you know, dig. So that's why another reason why you know what I mean um, I had to reach out to to Danny out of here, you know, what I mean Pro, uh, promoter of uh, Three Lines Promotions, you know, dig, and um, reach out to y'all because yeah, um, this is something that I want to continue to this to be a part of this show. You know what I mean? As far as something I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm appreciative to y'all coming out. You know what I mean? I know y'all are in fight mode. Y'all ice grilling me like you want this work. <laughs> but, yo, don't don't They're front on me, man. man. Don't front on me. I'm a, I'm, a, well, I'm, a, I'm a good, I'm a super middleweight right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got a good, I got, I got a good right hook myself. So, uh, yeah. No, we, de we definitely appreciate the support. <laughs> no, yeah, thank most you. Def, no, most, most definitely. You know what I mean? Uh, Hamilton's a... It's always been a fighting city, so it's it's nice yeah. to see that we're starting to get some recognition. Just just our club alone, like even the little guys coming up, like everybody's dedicated. 